Hey guys, welcome back to our channel today. Oof, this one's big. If you think robots are just clunky metal things bumping into walls, think again. We're diving into something that honestly blew us away. So yeah, we visited Shanghai Kepler Robotics during this year's ICRA. That's the International Conference on Robotics and Automation. If you're not familiar, it's one of the biggest and most respected robotics events in the world. It's where the top AI researchers and engineers gather to show off the future. Humanoid robots, autonomous driving, robotic arms, full stack breakthroughs. And Kepler, they weren't just there, they stood out. Let me introduce you to KeplerBot, part of their Forerunner series. The Kepler K2 Bumblebee, part of their Forerunner series. This isn't a lab toy. It's a full-on industrial-grade humanoid robot, purpose-built for real work, logistics, manufacturing, inspections, high-risk operations, even research and education. Here's what shocked us. One hour of charging, eight hours of endurance, like an entire shift of heavy-duty work after a single charge. And I'm not talking about rolling around or waving its arms. Kepler K2 Bumblebee can lift up to 30 kilograms. That's over 65 pounds with both arms. It's basically a robot forklift, but with hands. Its dexterity is nuts. Each hand has 11 degrees of freedom and every finger packs 25 ultra sensitive touch points. It can move like a human, grip like a pro and adapt to both heavy and delicate tasks. We saw it handle everything from solid crates to precise instruments with total confidence. Powering all this is Kepler Gear, Kepler's in-house tech stack. Their rotary actuators deliver up to 220 Newton meters of torque with pinpoint accuracy, 0.01 degrees of repeatable motion. These aren't off the shelf motors. They designed them from scratch to hit industrial benchmarks. There's more. Kepler K2 Bumblebee is wired with infrared 3D vision, posture and torque sensors, dual encoders, and high-res six-axis sensors on each wrist. And it's not just sensing, it's thinking. That's where their self-developed neuromorphic system kicks in. It splits decision-making into layers, perception, neural decision, and actuation. Basically, the robot sees, interprets, and moves with precision in complex environments. Audio, vision, touch, all working together like a human nervous system. They've also built the Nebula system a full-on high-fidelity simulation environment. It supports multi-robot collaboration, OTA updates, and even visual programming for easier development. This thing is ready for enterprise and research out of the box. Now let's keep it balanced. Pros, easily the one hour charge to eight hour work ratio. Insane energy conversion, precision actuators, and high in-house production means fewer bottlenecks. The dexterity, strength, and real-world deployment capacity, total win. Cons? Well, this isn't a consumer robot. It's for factories, labs, and logistics. So yeah, it's not replacing your Roomba or helping with groceries anytime soon. Also, pricing is likely enterprise tier, but that's expected for a machine of this level. So what's the bottom line? Kepler K2 Bumblebee isn't just a cool project. It's a legit working humanoid robot that's ready to handle real jobs. We've seen it up close and trust me, it's the real deal. If you're in robotics, AI, logistics, or smart manufacturing, you need to check this one out. Links to everything are below. And if you like this kind of deep dive into AI tools and robotics, hit that subscribe button and join the future with us. Catch you in the next one.